the Philippine Revolutionary Army Filipino, Pangamagsiking Hukbo ng Pilipinas, Hukbong Pilipinong Mapagamagsik, Spanish, Ejercito Revolucionario Filipino, later renamed Philippine Republican Army, Filipino, Hukbong Katahan ng Republica ng Pilipinas, Spanish, Ejercito en la Republica de la Filipina, was founded on March 22, 1897 in Cavite. General Artemio Ricarte was designated as its first Captain General during the Tejeros Convention. This armed force of General Emilio Aguinaldo's Central Revolutionary Government replaced the Katipunan's military force. History The Revolutionary Army used the 1896 edition of the Spanish Regular Army's Ordenanza del Ejercito to organize its forces and establish its character as a modern army. Rules and regulations were laid down for the reorganization of the army, along with the regulation of ranks and the adoption of new fighting methods, new rank insignias, and a new standard uniform known as the Rayadillo. Filipino artist Juan Luna is credited with this design. His brother, General Antonio Luna, commissioned him with the task and personally paid for the new uniforms. Juan Luna also designed the collar insignia for the uniforms, distinguishing between the services, infantry, cavalry, artillery, sappers, and medics. At least one researcher has postulated that Juan Luna may have patterned the tunic after the English Norfolk jacket, since the Filipino version is not a copy of any Spanish pattern uniform. Infantry officers wore blue pants with a black stripe down the side, while cavalry officers wore red trousers with black stripes. Orders and circulars were issued covering matters such as building trenches and fortifications, equipping every male aged 15 to 50 with bows and arrows, as well as bolo knives, though officers wielded European swords, enticing Filipino soldiers in the Spanish army to defect, collecting empty cartridges for refilling, prohibiting unplanned sorties, inventories of captured arms and ammunition, fundraising, purchasing of arms and supplies abroad, unification of military commands, and exhorting the rich to give aid to the soldiers. Aguinaldo, a month after he declared Philippine independence, created a pay scale for officers in the army. Following the board, a brigadier general would receive 600 pesos annually, and a sergeant 72 pesos. When the Philippine-American War erupted on February 4, 1899, the Filipino army suffered heavy losses on every sector. Even Antonio Luna urged Apolinario Mabina, Aguinaldo's chief advisor, to convince the president that guerrilla warfare must be announced as early as April 1899. Aguinaldo adopted guerrilla tactics on November 13, 1899, dissolving what remained of the regular army and after many of his crack units were decimated in set-piece battles. Arsenal the main weapon of the new Filipino army was the Spanish M93, also the standard infantry arm of the Spanish, and the Remington Spanish rifle. Crew served weapons of the Philippine military included Lantakas, Krupp guns, Hontoria guns, an Ordane gun, Hotchkiss guns, Nordenfeldt guns, Maxim guns, and Colt guns. Also, there were improvised artillery weapons made of water pipes reinforced with bamboo or timber, which can only fire once or twice. Ranks, hierarchy The evolution of Philippine revolutionary insignia can be divided into three basic periods, early Katipunan, late Katipunan and the Republican Army. Revolutionary Army enlisted ranks Branch colors in 1898, the Philippine government prescribed branch colors twice. Recruitment and conscription During the revolution against Spain, the Katipunan gave leaflets to the people to encourage them to join the revolution. Since the revolutionaries had become regular soldiers at the time of Emilio Aguinaldo, they started to recruit males and some females aged 15 and above as a form of national service. A few Spanish and Filipino enlisted personnel and officers of the Spanish Army and Spanish Navy defected to the Revolutionary Army, as well as a number of foreign individuals and American defectors who volunteered to join during the course of the revolution. Conscription in the Revolutionary Army was in effect in the Philippines and military service was mandatory at that time by the order of Gen. Antonio Luna, the chief commander of the army during the Philippine-American War. 
Flags and early banners of the revolution General officers During the existence of the Revolutionary Army, over 100 individuals were appointed to general officer grades. For details, see the list of Filipino generals in the Philippine Revolution and the Philippine-American War article. Other notable officers Colonel Agapito Bonzon Colonel Felipe Salvador, commander of the Santa Iglesia faction Colonel Apolinar Vélez Colonel Alejandro Abasilip Colonel Francisco Paco Roman, aide to Lieutenant General Antonio Luna Colonel Manuel Bernal, aide to Lieutenant General Antonio Luna Colonel Pablo Texan, leader, Battle of Quingua Colonel Olipia Texan, Supreme Military Commander of Tarlac in 1900 and exiled to Guam. Colonel Simone Texan, leader of Siege of Baylor, signatory of the Biak Nabato Constitution. Colonel Simeon Villa Colonel Luciano San Miguel Colonel Jose Tagle, known for his role in the Battle of Imus. Lieutenant Colonel Lazaro Macapagal, commanding officer in charge at the execution of Andres and Procopio Bonifacio brothers. Lieutenant Colonel Jose Torres Bugalan, hero of the Battle of La Loma. Lieutenant Colonel Regino Diaz Rilova fought as one of the heads of columns under General Juan Cais in the Laguna Province. Captain Jose Bernal, aide to Lieutenant General Antonio Luna. Captain Eduardo Rusca, aide to Lieutenant General Antonio Luna. Captain Pedro Janelino, commanding officer of the Kawit Battalion. Captain Vicente Roa. Captain Serapio Narvaez, officer of the 4th Company, Morong Battalion. Major Manuel Quezon, aide to President Emilio Aguinaldo. Eventually succeeded him as the second president of the Philippines under the United States-sponsored Commonwealth. Major Juan Arce Lieutenant Pantaleon Garcia, one of Gen. Luna's favorite sharpshooters of the Black Guard units. Corporal Anastasia Felix 4th Company, Morong Battalion the first Filipino casualty of the Philippine-American War. Notable foreign officers and servicemen Army Navy Captain Vicente Catalan, flag officer in command of the Philippine Navy. A former member of the Royal Spanish Navy. See also Armed Forces of the Philippines Military History of the Philippines Philippine Army Katipunan Philippine Commonwealth Army Luna Sharpshooters References Bibliography In popular media the Philippine Revolutionary Army has been mentioned in several books and movies. Books Films Tiniente Rosario, a 1937 biopic movie Dugo Sa Capirasong Lupa Jose Rizal biopic movie about the national hero of the Philippines Ganito Kami Noon, Pano Keo Nagayon? El Presidente General Luna Aguila 1980. Baylor Amigo Friend, The Story About the Decline of the Philippine Revolutionary Forces Tarad Pass, The Story of General Gregorio del Pilar 1993 biopic film Bonifacio, Ang Unang Pangulo Goyo, Ang Batang General
External links Philippines Independence Armies, Insignia 1896–1902 Artemio Ricarte. Archived from the original on 9 August 2011. Retrieved 28 January 2012. Images of Filipino Republican Army Rayadalo tunics.